Texas is home to a variety of barbecue restaurants, and their food is a major part of Texan culture. Louis Miller Barbecue, just outside of Austin, was founded in 1949 and continues to lure visitors from around the world. This family-owned business is considered an icon in the world of barbecue, and we're here to check it out. Hey everybody, it's your girl Amy Schuster for Foodie Hub. I am standing in front of the legendary Louis Miller Barbecue in Taylor, Texas. This is the epicenter of delicious all things barbecue. You are going to love it. Let's go. So this is Wayne and he is third generation. Third generation. Grandson to the originator of this place. When we were first established, we were this adjunct function from my grandfather's meat market. Refrigeration in 1946 was poor, and so this establishment sort of evolved out of that need for instant consumption. You're very passionate about it, and it's not just a business for you. It's like, you know, it comes from your heart. You know, you have to drink the Kool-Aid to be in this, this business. It's a hard business. It's not something you're going to get rich doing. It has to be a labor of love. Otherwise, there's just no way you would do it. No way I would do it. All right, ready to see the kitchen? I'm ready to see the kitchen. Have a snack? Yeah, let's do it. This is our original pit. This is the one that my grandfather had built in 46. This was a decommissioned naval vessel. This Let's used to see. be a naval vessel? Yeah. Steel was, so much history steel was in place. short supply in 1946. Okay. How long has it been smoking for? The beef ribs, about seven hours. The brisket, for about 12. So this is your typical brisket. It's a bimuscular mass. You've got what's called the lean, this section down here. This is a very dense, non-marbled section. On top, you have a very thickly marbled section of meat. I wish you guys could smell this because it is just so good. These are all beef sausage. We hand twist these every day. This is spicy. Originally, they were known as hot guts. Hot guts? Hot guts. What? Because they were a spicy sausage that was stuffed inside a hog case. It's got just like a nice little kick it's that kind little, of comes after. It's got a little cayenne, a little yeah. black pepper in there that really it's good. gives good. it its, its kick. So now we have our crown jewel. This is our beef short rib. They come from right around this midsection of the cow. There's quite a bit of collagen dispersed throughout the meat. It's pillowy soft. Yeah, yeah. Some people call it meat dough. Some people call it meat butter. We just call it lunch. Let's eat. Let's eat. This is a happy face. <laughs> <laughs> That's I what we do. I don't even know what to say. Like, I have no words. This is so freaking good. It's like buttery. It just melts when you put it in your mouth. I'm going to need to take a moment. <laughs> this is my number one. He's responsible <laughs> for what you're eating today. Thank you. How early do you have to get up in the morning and get everything going? This morning I was here at 2. What? Yeah, 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you for dedicating your <laughs> evenings to this deliciousness. Absolutely. A big thanks to Wayne Miller and everyone over at Louis Miller Barbecue. We'll see you next time here on Foodie Hub.